Okay, so quick video today talking about turning videos into GIFs, some online tools and some software tools to make that process easier. And especially I'm focused on if you're creating maybe an email newsletter, you're posting these online where you want to compress these files down so that they load really quickly. So first of all, obviously you need your video clip. I'm actually just gonna use this raw clip of cliff jumping. You can cut the clip down to exactly what you want the loop to be in your editing software, but the fastest way that I find to do it is actually in QuickTime Player. So I've just got it open up in QuickTime here. I'm gonna hit Command T uh, to bring up the trim function. I'm gonna set the in and set the out. Just drag in, real simple. You hit trim and then you wanna save that clip as so we're gonna go over to Easy GIF. This is where we're going to first convert the file. So go ahead, click choose file, find the file that you want, click upload video. It'll chew through that real quick. You wanna be under hundred megabytes, but that shouldn't be super hard. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it to the largest possible size. If you've got size restrictions, you can set it right here with the size and frame rate. 10 is, is fine. Um, 20 would look nicer, but 10 is gonna be good because we're gonna try and compress this down pretty far. So let's go ahead and click convert to GIF. It's gonna chew through that really quick. So there you go, you can check your, check your GIF, make sure that everything is in there, everything that you want. So the two tools that I want to use here are one under the effects. I mean, it's called effects. I just like to, cause this is just a raw clip that doesn't have contrast and saturation. I'm gonna boost contrast, boost saturation. There are a whole bunch of different tools, but those are your basics. And then I click apply. I look at the finished clip. Okay, that looks pretty good. That looks better than the raw video footage. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click into optimize. Right now we're looking at 2.92 megabytes, which is actually pretty good. I'm just gonna see where we strike the balance here with a compression level of 50. Okay, so that got us to about 50% the size. I mean, you see banding in the sky, but that's gonna happen no matter what. So I'm gonna go ahead and call 50% compression here. Just okay. We're gonna click save. We're gonna save it on the desktop. Then we're gonna go over to our second tool that we're gonna use uh, from a site called Compress or Die. So we go ahead and we upload our GIF out of Easy GIF. We're gonna upload it over here onto Compress or Die. The reason this is, is because this site offers us a lot of tools to fine tune exactly what we're gonna get out of our GIF in terms of size and in terms of color compression. So it's uploading, processing, it's gonna chew through that and we're gonna go ahead and say, all right, I wanna turn on expert mode. And so here, if you needed to trim off your GIF a little bit, that's fine. Down here, this lossy question mark slider is where we're gonna see the biggest difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank it all the way to 200 real quick so you can see. So you can see it's really starting to break down here. A lot of banding going on in the sky, but you still kind of get the point of the clip. Now, for an email, you wanna be somewhere around 500 kilobytes. Some people say up to one megabyte, some say less than 500, then when you go to 300 kilobytes, this is just gonna depend on what exactly you're looking for, but the tools inside of Compress or Die really give you the options to mess around and fine tune that to exactly the size that you need. So we're gonna go ahead and mess around with the number of colors that we have. That should help us out by cutting down. Okay, so now we're under a thousand kilobytes. Let's just see what is the difference with cutting down to nine frames per second instead of 10. So cutting from nine frame, 10 frames a second to nine frames a second, obviously going to make a huge difference here. At this point, you want to fine tune and hit your goals as far as GIF quality, while also retaining the right file size for your distribution pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, that's okay. We're hitting 520 kilobytes and we're gonna go and save that. So there you have it. Super simple, super straightforward. These two tools are really awesome for refining down your GIFs, compressing them and getting them ready for the web. All right, Drew, do your magic.